I mean, I was always going. I forgot about this. This scared me. Let's turn that down a little bit because we're crashing. We are crashing. We have crashed. <laughs> Indeed. And then we sneeze. Okay. I assume Paulette is crying. There we are. Ooh. So. I'm going to pause real quick. Because. Nice driving. I didn't arrive. Why is the SFX so loud? Because the ambience is really loud. That's why. Let's turn that down. There we go. <laughs> um, so this is the desert. What makes the desert so hard is there is not too much plant, too many plants. Uh, we also crashed right next to the bugs. That's great. <coughs> Hi, OMG. I love steak. Hi, Finan. Hi, Breeded Wolf. Um, it's there's Friday, Friday. You gotta get down on Friday. Yeah, pause, right? Okay, that's the temperature is, yeah. It's cold. There is a dry and a wet season that you have to deal with. And um, not that your people need a drink, but there are only very few water holes all over the map. Maybe even just one, because uh, looking at this, that might be the only one that's there, which is the only place near the water where normal trees grow it is not friday it's wednesday yeah and there's already oh wait is there a bigger lake up here nope that's just a shadow oh no never mind it's not even a shadow it's just bugs so yeah we're gonna go next to this because yeah we might actually just try to defend ourselves here because we can have some good choke points here for defense it looks gorgeous though i i agree uh, it's really really cool also there's apparently some random trees up there's one random tree over there <laughs> which is odd because normally they're supposed to grow next to this i gotta suck being a vegetarian in the desert yeah a little bit a little bit it's gonna be interesting for sure but yeah so uh, this is obviously a colony survival game you know as you can see. Oh, we already have a gun here. Well, that's convenient. That's very convenient that we have a gun here. Um, let's see. Who's the best shooty shoots? Am I a random tree? Not quite, no. So, I would like for Sora to have the sniper. So, you can equip the laser pistol for now. We're terraforming the planet, not quite. Are we gonna hunt for bugs? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, we're kind of gonna hunt because they're really close. And for now, this is not super scary yet, but we're, we're gonna hunt for them once we have everybody equipped with weapons. Okay, but first things that we gotta do, of course, is set up shelters. Well, we can't. Uh, I'm gonna observe this bush there and the grass there. Wait, is this something else? It's tall grass. Okay, that's a different grass then. Uh, we're gonna cut those because we're gonna need that. Did I la land on Klendatu? It lo looks a little bit like it, doesn't it? Looks a little bit like it. We're gonna scavenge no, no, that. No, no. Do, 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 do. And then we're gonna go. No, no, no. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All the silly butts. Yeah, everybody's a silly butt here. Very much so. So we could just build this out of scrap metal. Or we make it with sticks. Because we can just cut this. You observe, you cut. Poor lad is crying. I don't think you can rename people, right? No, you can't rename people currently. Yep. So it's really it gets really cold in the desert overnight. Uh, basically. <clears throat> so that ain't great okay we'll go oh i have to cut some hay from tall grass okay we need to cut this too 
But you're making hay too, don't you? Or making are you making sticks? Oh, you're making sticks. Got it. Fair enough. Hey, there we go, Paul. That's all good to go. Let's see. Activities. We'll go here. Um. So you don't do that. Yeah, you don't do crafting. You're really good at this. All right. Yeah, you're observing already. Very nice. I'm gonna like enable everybody to do everything right now just so we get the stuff done and you just get a five in there for now there we go all right small brute leaf bush just gives us sticks hi space monkey yes there is a new patch coming out tomorrow why is she crying because we just crash landed on a freaking planet <laughs> Like, we were in this thing, and we crash-landed. I would be crying, too. <laughs> That's why. I would probably be crying, too. Yes, there's a patch coming out tomorrow with a new biome, a new survivor, new plants, new achievements, and a whole bunch of things. Oh, no, no, no. no. She, she, she's crying because she crash-landed. All right, we need shelters. I'm, I'm not so sure that we were just about to land. I don't think so. Because we need shelter. Yeah, we need shelter for all of us. We need sleeping spots. And then we need a campfire. We can make that out of scrap metal for now. Or we can't get Kyrie and warm up. We went a bit quicker. No. No, we didn't. Liquid fuel. All right. Shiny rock. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of things that we need to observe. But for now, we can do this. And then... We'll just put st oop, storage shelves here and then a stockpile just outside for now. Like that. For like construction materials and whatnot. We'll need to get everything roofed eventually, but we'll just get started like this for now. Oh, we need more material, eh? Um, after we observe this, yeah. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna cut this all. No, unraft. Choose. There we go. Broadleaf bushes. Cuts. Gotta observe that tall grass as well. That's really hard to see this grass, but luckily it pops up if you just hover over it. Oh, you're grabbing that. I see. I see. That. Also, yes, sneeze. So yeah, I think tomorrow we'll play this and then some soccer story, I think, as well. Because I'm actually really digging soccer story. Um so I think we're gonna do that. Uh she cries before we went on an alien web with no men left alive. Eh, that's not true. There are there are other people. There are other people. It's fine. It's fine. And we don't need no men. We don't need no men, Kai. It's actually not that hot. It's only 26 degrees right now. It does get really um, cold at night, actually, though. Uh, the other people's friends are food. Um, you can butcher humans in this if you want to. You can do that. There is cannibalism in this. Um, but not ideally for us. We don't we don't want to do that. 
There we go. Um, let's see. What do we need for furniture? We need to discover wood, I guess. All right, let's go observe. Do we really not have any? Oh no, we do have a tree over here. Gotcha. Observe the tree. Observe that. Observe. This is also an animal specific to this biome. The zebra camel. I love it. Can you make human leather hats? Um. Not directly, no. Do they have to eat at a table? Uh, yes. Yes. It's not a tiger. That's a, that's a camel and a zebra mixed together. Yes, they get unhappy if they don't eat at a table. Yes, they get unhappy if they don't eat at a table. A bram a zebra mall. It is a zebra mall. Yes. Yes. Indeed. And that's what it is. The smoldering debris will keep us warm. No, what will keep us warm is the campfire. And the shelters. We need hay. Uh, poor Rita is just standing around and eating. Alright, we'll go to 2x speed. We'll go a little bit faster. Yeah, the shelters will keep us warm. Is this super secret secret? Yeah, so I... Well, the super secret secret, so to speak, is the fact that I got to play this early. I already played this... Um, see, 8 on foot, minus 6. I got to play this early uh, about two week, uh, 3 weeks ago? Yeah, 3 weeks ago. So I already, I've already played around with this uh, a little bit. Not too long, I already got to play about two hours, but uh, not quite two hours, more like 90 minutes-ish. But yeah. I just got to play a little bit early, which was cool. And I really appreciate it. Just like I get to play it, stream it early as well, because this update is not coming out until tomorrow. For regular folks. So, uh, yeah. It was cool. Is this a new Stranded game? No, it's not, Fab Baptist. No. I know there's a, there's another game. I'm just... Trying to turn up the music a little bit. I wonder if they... Put any more stuff in. Oh, but that's okay. No, it's not. So this is Stranded Alien Dawn. It has nothing to do with the other str with the Stranded fr franchise that already exists. This is a colony management game, actually. And it's um, the Early Access. It's made by uh, Hemimon Games, who've made Surviving Mars. And... Um, Stargate... Yes, exactly. And the... Um, uh, uh, some tropical games. Some of the tropical games, I should say. Not all of them. Uh, missing resources. But don't we have sticks right here? I thought so. Yes, it's the Stargate survivors. Exactly. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing hay. Can we give hay? Yes. Like grass. There we go. Need hay grass. Don't be afraid. That moon looks really scary. Also, that's spinning really fast. Whoa. That's spinning really fast. Also, a uh, meteor. Put them on the fire trails for extra heat. Um, pass. Alright, pleasant walk. Oh, I didn't actually check what your, your favorite things to do are. Favorites, veggies to snowball fighting. Favorite smoking. Pull it, please. Meat pie and hiking walks. Ratatouille and playing darts. Alright. 
Is there a whole planet map? No, so there's no map. There's no overview map or a mini map, but the the explorable area, the buildable area. Okay, so here we are, right? We're here. Alright, come with me. We're going on an exploration. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're still going. We're going. We're going. And this is the edge. So, uh, yeah. It's pretty big. <laughs> so you can't see the whole entire planetary map. Um, there are expeditions that you can do, but you only go on the expeditions that you don't see other uh, places in the on the planet. But the entire buildable area and explorable area is really big. It's really, really, really big. Big. Yeah. Scavenged a cause for celebration. We put it in a, put together a camp as quickly as we could. Considering the circumstances, we are not sleeping in the dirt. We have a roof over our heads and a fire to illuminate the dark, uncertain nights. And the most important, we have survived. To us. This feels like an achievement worth honoring. We can gather around the campfire and celebrate being alive tonight. Yes. Let's do that. So the next thing that we gotta do desperately is... I don't want to start cooking. I don't want to cook emergency rations. But the problem is we have a bajillion vegetarians. Which is a bit of a problem. Like cloth cut wood from trees, butcher leather, f yeah. We need to get wood. But we only have one tree! Um, let's observe the succulent plants. Hi, Re! Sleeping packs aren't much better, but they're at least a little bit warmer! You know, they're at least a little bit warmer, I'd say. I'm gonna cut that one down. So you can observe that, and then we can cut that one down over there. This is rather spoopy that these are so close, but... Yeah, because they're uh, already out for blood. But we'll be able to take up this nest at least relatively quickly. So yeah, it would be cool if there were a mini-map to see where you are and whatnot, but... Um, it still gives a pretty good... Synthetic helm, nice. So it gives a pretty good idea of how big stuff is. Entertaining too with the bug neighbors. Yeah, yeah, entertaining, sure. Uh, equip it. Right, cool. Now she's wearing a helmet. Yeah, we, we can we can go with entertaining. Have we eaten a human yet? No. We discovered the glutch. The big blooded insect is a slow and usually peaceful herbivore, which I named Clutch. While not particularly dangerous, it secretes a poisonous substance which accumulates on its skin and is released as a toxic cloud when the creature shakes its body in fear. Engaging it from a safe distance seems like the best option. Is your is your name secretly Tynan Sylvester, Rico? Is that it? Are you secretly Tynan Sylvester? Yeah, you're observing the desert tree. <gasps> Laser pike? <gasps> oh, we're getting so lucky with our scavengers. That's ridiculous. No, no. Equip. No, no, no. We're going to equip that in a second when I can. Yeah, got to wait. Got to put it into storage first. But that's really good. All right. Yeah, advanced better weapon that uses an energy blade to slash through flesh and enemies. Very good. I'm just trying to see if we've got any more trees close by. No, 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 no! Rain grass. This grass is not as dense and tall as wheat, but its seeds are obviously edible and closely special. I will call it grain grass. It could be useful in cooking as well as in the production of oil and antibiotics with the right fermentation. Hi again, Das Cocoon. How you doing today? Okay, we're still scavenging here. 
But apparently everybody is observing now for some reason. Can we not cut this one down over here? Thunderstorm! Great! Oasis tree. This tree's small leaves allow it to survive the harsh desert climate. It needs a nutrient-rich soil, loam, or silt, which I usually find around oasis. This is why I decided to name it Oasis Tree. Because after all, you're my wonder tree. That totally makes sense, right? I'm gonna cut that one too. Because we're gonna need that wood. So... Hi, Trollbait! Yes, eating without a table. Indeed. Indeed, it is happening. We are eating without tables. I know, I know. All the war crimes. All the war crimes. Campfire sitting. There we go. We'll put trees there. Okay. Dromeda. It's a big humped animal that looks like a camel. And a zebra had a baby on an alien planet, so I named it Dromeda. From my observations, it is a peaceful herbivore which will most likely avoid confrontations and run away from threats. It's quite big, so it provides it should provide a decent amount of meat. Its hide also seems valuable. I should karaoke more. Oh god, no, I should not. Uh, you can't even karaoke on Twitch anyways. Because DMCA. Uh, you can perform cover songs. You can do that. I love how two people are celebrating survival. One is like over there. One is over there. And the other two are just like, ah, screw this. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> All right. Let's go get a, let's go get a table. Because we need a table. And then we'll get some chairs as well. I'm going to get me at the DMCA. Yes. That thunderstorm. She does look rather glam. Yeah, yeah. Paulette is. Paulette looks like she's just had about enough. And Krista is like, I, well, I have a photo shooting later, so gotta go. Gotta go now. <laughs> but hey, that's okay too. We ain't judging her. That's also DMC8. Yeah, well, that's true. Everything is just DMCA nowadays. All DMCA. Okay, taking a walk. That's okay. Do 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 do. Right. I'm going to sleep now. It's not the best idea to go to sleep at, but okay, sure. Uh, we could do some original and DMCA ourselves, yes. Shouldn't be too bad here. Ah, five degrees under the roof. Not great. It's not great, but it's doable. You can't see all Twitch features and front page doing karaoke. Well, you're not supposed to. You put yourself at risk. Or DMCA. I'm not willing to, uh, to risk it. If they want to, they can. That's fine. I'm, I'm just not. Okay, we need... So where can we put grain grass? Oh, we can grow some grain grass over here. A very odd looking uh, field. But it's green, so that's good. Now we have a whole bunch of other things that we need to look at. And then... Shiny rocks. And just my normal rocks for stone. There we go. And we can just creepily stare at people while they're sleeping. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. And thanks again, chat, for being here and all your support. Also, wait, I, I feel like I checked this last time. Can you buy the soundtrack for this? No. I need to release the soundtrack for this. 
Yeah, fan power is too powerful. I mean, yeah. That does exist in a bit, but mm, yeah, should be okay. Alright. Discussing, discussing the crash, constructing the table. Hypothermia. Yeah, I feel like we need more space. Because outside yeah because it's it's outside so stuff is deteriorating which ain't great i'm just gonna smash i'm gonna smash another shelter on top of this i think just so it's sort of safe there yep yeah you can finish previous meal yep this is so we've played this before this game obviously like, this is not our first rodeo um with it um, this is probably the best 3D colony sim slash management game that I've ever played. You know, the one that's not like, um, top down or something. Not at the beach, in the desert. What does the, what, what, what hero screams beach to you? No, it's the desert. <laughs> We're in the desert. This is the new biome that's coming out tomorrow. Um... Wow, my that, answering that or replying to that completely fried my brain. The big beach, yeah, big beach. Yeah, because we've played before. But yeah, oh yeah, I was gonna say this is probably the best three D colony sim that I've ever played. You know, because it's quote unquote easier to do it top down, two D art. But uh, doing it three D like this is really difficult, and this is this is probably the best one I've ever played. A pond could be a mini ocean. Sure, sure. Ooh, I want. Yeah, I was gonna actually look. Can you turn off? Uh, bloom. Oh god, bloom off. Eye adaptation. I wish I had co-op. Hi, Woodski. I, I know a lot of people really would like that. Or games like that. I I feel like I don't need co-op in these types of games. But uh, yeah, no, I yeah yeah. It does kind of suck that none of them do it. That's true. Or it's it, you know it would be cool if there were if there were options at least. But. Uh, I don't know. I, I still wonder if RimWorld is going to come out with native multiplayer. Because they have been looking for a multiplayer expert at Ludian to hire them. So yeah. RimWorld multiplayer was super fun to play with friends. Yeah. Mm, mm. It, it's fun for a, for a one-off. For me. For me. But hey, if you enjoy it, that's awesome, right? So maybe maybe we'll get it. Maybe we'll get it as a as an actual thing. Yeah. What if I remain stranded here forever? Yeah. What if K Krista? That's okay. We'll be fine. Maybe. <laughs> maybe not. All right. You're cutting. You're constructing. I wish I could turn off the dust clouds. Cause I don't think there's anything to turn off the dust clouds. I did, yeah, I did, P.S. Indeed, hi. Hello, hello. Enable hands, apparel units off. But there is an update tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think you can turn that off. That would be cool. Oh, can't wait, wait, is this? Before I forget, because I might forget. Where is there? Because they have a feedback button in game, right? Don't they? Or am I like hallucinating now? I thought they had a feedback um, button in game. 
Maybe I'm mis misremembering. I did though, yeah. I played it for, for a bit actually. Silicon over there. All right, nice. Um, we're playing uh, the new map now. That's coming out tomorrow to everybody. Um, plus new storytellers, AKA moons. So the moons in this are the storytellers. Um, you got um, new creatures, new plants in this biome. You have a dry and a wet season in this um, biome, and uh, temperature is a lot more volatile in this in this biome because it gets really cold at night and then really hot during the day. So it's a it's a lot more volatile than the other map, which also gets cold, but only really in um, in winter. Hi, fire. Hello, hello. Oh, bright leaf plant. Observe. Ranch cactus. We can leave that for now. So they're preparing to plant trees over here, I think. Yeah, or Aces Tree Field. I need to, I need to observe these little plants here. There more of that around here somewhere not that i can see orange mushrooms because i do need to observe them technically before we destroy them i might uh, remove that field for now because i need to observe this before we destroy it because i might need that for planting i don't know but we'll have to see who is actually good at planting though um rita rita is good at it all right smug looks strange it lacks the eyebrows oh my god it does yes oh no oh my lord I need to let the Levi has done that accidentally with a couple of the emotes. I'll have to let her know. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Yep. I guess cute as well, right? Yeah, that one too. You're absolutely right. Yeah, I need to remember to like check for that. Yeah, sharing his eyebrows. Yeah. It happened with a different emote as well. But the thing is like if you if you like stare at it for long enough, it just disappears. Hey, welcome back, Goo. You just don't see it anymore, so yeah. It's fine. All good. Yeah, it would be cool if I could turn off the weather effects. Well, tomorrow. Tomorrow, Goo. Tomorrow. We're playing early. So we're checking that out. Also, welcome back. Welcome back, Gui Goo. When people stare after you lose her eyebrows. Maybe I never had any in the first place. Maybe I never had any in the first place. Bug meat is better than a human meat. <laughs> or eating. Roll it! Hi! Esky. Roll it! 
How's it going? Hello, hello. Thank you so much, Rollet, for 11 freaking months of support. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for keeping up your stuff for that long. How are you doing today? It is good to see you. Hello, hello. We probably have to start uh, making meat soup. Yeah, we'll do it ten times. Oh, you're on vacation! Awesome! Like, is it like a staycation type thing? Or are you... Alright, pull that. Or are you, are you somewhere? Also, that's awesome. Staycation. Nice! I hope you have a... I hope you have a wonderful... Um, birthday. Aggressive animals ate. Oh, great. Great, great, great. With eight, we should be okay, though. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Ow, you just jumped out there. Like, nobody's business. Alright, we're gonna grab all of this. We're gonna... Slow down a little bit. I'm gonna go up here. Because we have a gun and we have a good stabby. Rita has a good gun. Sora has a good stabby. So... We're gonna try and do this. Oh, Lex, 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 Lex! Oh, he got up before I could... Get him. Lex, 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 Lex! Can I get a drink? You went up so you got up so quickly. Can I get a drink? Oh, you were checking the potatoes. The potato. Thank you, Lex. He's also making the potatoes. It, he is also, I think, doing a little bit better today, which is great. All right, Rita. Oh, not quite in range. I see. Okay. Rita is just kicking butt. Your wife has not even given you to-do list. <laughs> well, you do need some time off as well, clearly. You know what? I'm gonna undraft you. I'm gonna undraft you. The Sora has the great. Oh, combat plus 18. Really? You like combat that much? That it makes you happy. Oh, interesting. Thank you! Thank you, Lex. Okay, we got him. We got him. Sometimes taking a trip can be tiring. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You you need like, you need like travel day. Then you need a day, day and a half to decompress from travel. Then you relax. Then you travel back home. Then you need another day to like decompress from traveling back home again. Totally, yep. Yeah. You know, holidays from holidays. I know, right? Um, who is my best? Rita or Sora? What are you doing? Heal Rita, please. Thank you. You observing the succulent. Good. We observe the mushrooms. No, we cut them down, I think. Well, bummer. You put up shelving that you said you'd put up for seven years. Yeah, yeah. I can't even judge you for that. Because sometimes that's just how long it takes. <laughs> there we go, right? We got you. Cool. Planting trees. All right, cool. We really need some uh, vegetables to eat, ideally. Because we have so many um, vegetarians.
Okay, we're almost done with this one. That's a big succulent plant, though. Holy moly. Juice leaf. This plant reminds me of agave. When mature, it could be cut and used in cooking as a substitute for vegetables. Yay! It took five years to get the shelving in the first place. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right. There it goes. We can go over there then. Reaction speed, let's go. For now. Sometimes that's just how that's just how life is. We still have boxes from our move. Uh eight years ago. So it's how it is. You've lived in your house for seven years and they have boxes that you have not packed yet. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Twitching slightly. Uh, numbing cold. Oof. Is it really that? Oh, yeah, it is freezing over here. Ugh. Go warm up by the fire. Well, the fire is not doing much anymore, huh? Ooh. Unrelaxed, numbing cold. I know. I know. Stuff sucks. <gasps> Planting juice! Achievement! Achievement! Okay, you're gonna observe the bright leaf plants that one over here oh Arr. trees more trees you want to pack them like seven years to consider if you really need them yeah it's mo for me mostly oftentimes it's boxes that have like mementos in them but yeah that's 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 the smart thing to do really at that point I finally unpacked some, uh, unpacked some boxes that have been packed since I moved to England. But they were mostly packed because we didn't have space to put them anywhere in the old house. Yeah. Complete the advent calendar for your wife. Nice! Will we scourge some cloth? Nice. I have a cloth that still has OG boxes in it. <laughs> nice. This is a Valkyrie run. No, no, we just picked people that we didn't hadn't played with before. Advent, yeah, that's tomorrow. See, mine were two, and now they're in. Um, now they're on shelves, and they're actually not displayed, but they're in in the shelf. They're in our um, in our little cupboards here in the living room. It is the 1st of December tomorrow. Mental. Mental, isn't it? That is really, really crazy. Yeah, that is nice. I got rid of a lot of stuff before I moved to England. And then we again got rid of a lot of stuff and when we moved to this house but we still have oh well we have we have it's not too bad yeah uh was last sunday first advent already oh yeah i guess so we don't uk doesn't really do advent Early access feedback. Well, I don't want to keep feedback. I want to. I want to request a thing. Toss half your things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Low food supply, yep, I know that. I know that, which is why we're planting things. We're working on it, alright? Wait, is that really just... Is this all for one tree? Is it one tree per giant square? Oh, oh, that's that's bad. Oh, that that's bad. We scavenged some more extra survival meals. That's great. We need to look at the rounded cactus over here. Infection, death. Aw. A little long-tailed reptile fell over. Hi, Raloon. Good to see you. Hi, Dave. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Good to see you. How's the fire doing? Okay. Okay. Um, veggie soup. Yes. Please also do veggie soup. Perfect. I need to get a research desk going. I'm doing pretty well, actually. Can't complain. Oh god, make FG speak German, huh? Alright. Uh, and when it went, a light is burned. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, and when it's 5, it's burned, then you have Weihnachten verpennt. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh, is that 200 juice? Wait, did you just drop the the thingy? Yo, you were carrying the uh ah, -uh, hold it. You were like right there, Rita, and then she just dropped it on the floor. Silicon leaf. The party red plant has a bulky core with peculiar patterns, which synthesizes an unlikely substance. Silicon. I've never heard of such a plant before, so it might be unique to this world. I named it silicon leaf. You silly bat. Honestly, you could have just brought this home. We have, like, terrible planting here. A little bit better over here. Put it over there, then. Alright, Rita's sleeping, and you're hopefully making, like, veggie soup now? That's more meat soup. Rain porridge can't do that. You're hot. Well, sorry. Okay, I might stop meat soup production for now. Because uh, most of us are actually vegetarian, which is funny. Storeroom as the shoe room. Sure, yes. Yes, I mean, you would probably put shoes in a storeroom. Hi, Erecta! Hello, hello! How's it going? Hello, hello! There's a lot of meteors in this. Alright, veggie soup. No cued research, correct. We'll start with construction basics, tailoring, lightning rod, metal refinement. You're nervous? You have your MRI result apart with your surgeon in a couple of hours. I hope it goes well, fingers crossed. We can, we can hopefully take your mind off of it a little bit until then. Fingers crossed. You're welcome. And thanks for hanging out. 
We appreciate that as well. Sleeping, taking a walk. Yeah. Good. Let's speed up through the night and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Ooh, you can make... S oh, sweet syrup at a distillery. Oh, uh, you... Oh, maybe just out of that one. I guess we can't just harvest sweet syrup anymore. Well, maybe from a different plant, actually. I think that's from a different plant. Yeah. Where we get sweet syrup directly. thunderstorm again hopefully this doesn't get set on fire we'll see can happen though um who's gonna do research krista yeah but she's also observing so she's gonna observe everything first which we should be done with soon no there's more stuff up there never mind Get wrecked particular in particular chair. We don't need you. Where are you? Ah, observing the bull cactus. Fair enough. Yeah, I marked a whole bunch more plants. Okay. It's good that we have um, veggie soup now. The potato thing happened. How did it go? Yeah, it was great. It was great. Um, overall. We managed to raise over $4,000 during my segment alone. And overall, overall, the event um, raised $125,000 for charity. It was great. It was pretty dang great. So our community stands now at $4,246.12. Uh, $4, I didn't even see that comment. Is this still on? Yes. Yes, you can. Ooh, cloth blossom. Nice. You can have us cloth from it. Uh, you can still donate if you want to. Uh, there is technically still a goal open. Uh, it'll be open till the end of the week. Um, if you want to contribute more. Um, if we hit that goal, I will honor that, that we've hit that goal. And give you that reward, which is 69 hours of RimWorld as well. Um, if we don't, then... Well, I'll be closing the campaign at the end of the week. Uh, a barrel cactus. It fares well in dry climates. And somehow manages to give small hot fruits that can be eaten raw or cooked. And then the T-ball tree. It seems to be very much alive. It has a vast root system that absorbs all the moisture it can find. Concentrating it in big, hard-shelled bulbs which protect the fruits. The fruits themselves are bitterly sour and made my mouth stink for hours. I wouldn't repeat eating them if I can afford not to. But you can make them into tea or cook them. So now we can plant barrel cactus. Oh my god. We're just not going to have farms in like the most random places. And tea ball trees. Um, maybe I'll just make a bigger tea ball farm, tea ball tree farm over here. Just uh, the soil around here is kind of best. All right, our farmer is gonna be very busy. So yeah, our, our next goal would be in five hundred and fifteen dollars, which is a lot of money. So if we don't hit that by the end of the week, that's, that's you know, we've already done uh, more than, far more than enough. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, absolutely, Daisuke Kuhn. We've had people donate yesterday. We've had some people donate today to my campaign. Um, absolutely. Um, so yeah, if we, if we uh, hit 4,761, which is 69 squared, 
by the end of the week, I will still honor that stretch goal as met. If not, that's totally fine too, because we have, you have raised so much money. 125,000 is ridiculous. Heat wave. Uh, they're eight degrees higher than usual. Crops start growing slowly, slower, start losing health as the temperature is unbearable. Right, right now it's okay. It's not too bad, we'll see. But people are still definitely donating, because some people missed, um, missed, you know, the dates, basically, because they were busy. Which is obviously t t totally fine. Sora is idling. You kind of do everything, though. Oh, because... Yeah, okay. Scavenge that, scavenge that. Do I need to observe you still? You're so... You're wiggling so far away over here. Can I click you now? Yes, observe. The flat-headed animal. Go look at that. We've done you... And then we need to tackle this eventually. Um, oh, there are some pretty, pretty spooky ones in there. If we could get weapons for everybody, that would be great. We'll see. But no, the, the hot potato went amazing. The hot potato charity event went absolutely amazingly. $125,000, almost $126,000 actually now, is ridiculous. Heat stroke. Yep, that's not, there's not gonna, <gasps> we got some synthetic, te synthetic textiles, nice. Um, $126,000 is bonkers, if you think about it. That's so much money that we've raised for charity. It's absolutely insane. It's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Hi, Solantre. The hot potato is now... <laughs> it's really funny. The hot potato is the highest amount of, like, um, a team effort that has, like, raised money for Doctors Without Borders over on um, Tiltify. If you check, like, the team rankings for... If you check the team rankings for um, Tiltify. The first four top spots is Potato. For the last four years, which is amazing. Norms done, enjoy your norms. How you doing today, Solantre? I hope you're doing well, it's good to see you. Yeah, I know, I know. How was the food? Or, oh, you, you already finished. How was the food then? Sorry. You're researching diligently, even you've got, even though you've got heat stroke. How warm are you? 38.8. Oof. That is pretty hot. Construction basics. Okay, cool. Yeah, three out of the four, that's ridiculous, right? Three out of the four campaigns managed to end on 69 uh, cents rates, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, we'll just do we'll just do a stone floor. Yesterday was super Oh yeah, of course, cause yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Cause you had um Ooh. Ah, okay, so if I just do that. Ah, we can like kind of build into this. Ooh, I kinda wanna cozy up to the mountains max size so I don't know if I I don't think I need to go super crazy hmm I don't know what I want to start with or if we do like a we could do a rec room we'll do a 9 by 9 rec room And then we'll do a little kitchen area and then we'll do like food storage and stuff. Yeah, we need lots of stone. 
For a week vacation to a holiday week where honestly not much gets done. Ooh, yeah, I can imagine. Uh, stone. No, not you. Oh. Oh, rock chunks. There we go. And rocks. Mine. You have to leave for an appointment. You got this, Richter! You got this. I believe. See you later. Thanks for hanging out. Mm-hmm. You got this. Yep. Yep. It's like space country. And I dig it. It's uh, space country. This game has space country. And I dig it. Yeah, I hope the appointment is a good one. This game's really good. Like, it's it's obviously still early access, and there are some things that need, you know, still need work. But um, it's like, as I stated earlier, it is probably the best of the 3D, you know, colony sims out there. Um, just in terms of, like, managing things, building things... Um, colonist AI uh, and all that sort of stuff. Um, this one's really good. It's really, it's really fun. It's not perfect yet. There are some some issues. Eventually, you'll get into a problem where you just run out of electronics, and it's really hard to keep up with making electronics. But uh, it's really fun. It is really, 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 really fun. really really fun i recommend it especially what was the price again yeah 25 it's 25 pounds but i've already paid 26 hours so yeah i've paid quite a lot already draca the pattern on the back of the animal with a big fat head are very similar to those of the small drac insect insects native to my home world so i felt like naming it draca much to my surprise, it seems to be a peaceful herbivore. The elevated position of its eyes allow it to keep watch for predators in danger while feeding. Hi, Convo. Christ and going medieval. <sighs> They're trying. I do. I do need to. I do need to go and check out their latest update. I haven't done that yet. But the going medieval does some cool stuff. But the colonist AI is just frustrating to deal with. Especially when building. When 3D building, the colonist, colonist AI um, makes me want to tear my hair out. <laughs> what do they do? They're worse than the dupes and are auction not included. In terms of building themselves into a hole. And not getting out of the, um, yeah, getting out of the, getting out of it eventually. Oh, I know, I know. I know. They, they're doing their best. They listen to feedback. It's still early access, so, you know, I still want, uh, wish it were just better. Hi, Black Fox. Of course, yeah. I stream till 5 p.m. my time, which is not yet is. But hi, good to see you. Hello, hello. Yep. Well, of aggressive animals this time. Great. And we still don't have any new. Okay. We still don't have any new um, weapons that we found. That kind of sucks. Research tailoring and lightning rods. Good. You wake up this time the streams are done. Um, no, I stream till five. Just not on Mondays. <laughs> Mondays I stop earlier. Yeah, I stop early on Mondays. So uh, that might be changing. Uh, I might be changing my schedule again. Um, next, mm, on, uh, starting in January. 
Because the half Mondays, I just don't get anything done. Uh, so I might rather take every second Wednesday off and just do a normal long stream on... Ah. Yeah, I might just do a normal long stream on Mondays. And then take every second Wednesday off and you still get about the same amount of hours out of me. Go get him. Go, Rita. You got this. And Sora. Nice. But I haven't quite made the decision yet. Stop missing! Okay, well done there. Stressed out. Well, I'm stressed out, you know. I'm stressed out too. Nice, well done. All right, good. And then one last thing. Cool. Um, I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother butchering those. I could. I need them. Enjoy, goo. Have fun. But I'm just gonna rock and roll with the vegetables that we have. Even though they're rotting away a little bit. But we have still quite a lot of vegetables here. So I'm just gonna leave it with that. Okay, you're treating her. Good. Yeah. Mild pain, a little bit of ble bleeding, but we're banding bandaging you up. Illness? Oh no, what you have? Infection, okay. Mild foot. One medicine. We do have that. Yes, okay, good. Also dragons. Enjoy. Have fun. Have fun with it. Pot racing? Dragon racing? Really? Okay, that's kind of hilarious. That's kind of hilarious. No, this is pod racing. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, we have no storage space. I'm aware. I'm aware. Metal refinement done. Nice. But I would like to get this rec room thing sorted. So we can actually get like a proper inside. That'd be great. No, don't eat my storage space! I need my storage space. That's what I've heard. Yeah, yeah, the, the N64 one, right? Um, that was an N64. I never played it, but I've heard the same. Yeah, I've heard the same, that it was really good, actually. Oh, really? It was on PC, too. I never knew that. I never knew that. Yeah, there, we still have the potato. We still have the potato emote, I know. I know. Still digesting. Well, you should not eat an entire raw potato, probably. That can technically lead to some stomach trouble. I would presume. But then what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? Almost done. <laughs> You're just a silly butt now. You are just a silly butt now. Yes, I'm aware I have not queued, queued up a research game. Thank you very much. So we're starting with this one tomorrow. And then we might switch to Soccer Story as well. Because I want to play that because on Friday... Well, actually Friday... Hmm. When is that? When can I play that? Because... Let me just do this real quick. 
Um, yeah. So Two Point Campus is getting a DLC on the 6th of December. And I can start streaming that early on Friday for the last two hours. So Friday for the last two hours of the stream, we're going to play the new Two Point Campus DLC, Space Academy, um, already. So that's going to be fun too. Everything is like coming out next week. It's like ridiculous. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, you can totally eat raw potato. You might just get an upset stomach if you eat too much of it. It's not going to kill you, but you'll get potentially an upset stomach. Construction leveled up. Nice. I love how it's still yelling at me that we don't have enough stone, but it's all over there. How did you... Oh, I guess you can technically just step up there. No, roll it. Don't do that. See, but they're 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 really smart about not building themselves into a hole or getting stuck somewhere uh, in this game, which is which is actually a really nice change from uh, other games of this genre. All right, tailoring bench. Yeah, we need to get started on that eventually. I'll put one down. I'm already going to put down a lightning rod just so we have it already placed. Because it'll still it'll still work and catch um it'll still catch Medium, awful, awful, medium, medium. It'll still catch. Or do we go wood? We could do wood walls for now. Um, it'll still catch lightning strikes. It just won't be able to. We won't, won't be able to convert them to electricity, but it'll still be functional. Oh wait, are we doing? Oh, it's one of otter sweet raw potatoes. No. No, they wouldn't. Oh, we were on wall. That's why it wasn't doing the thing. There we go. And then a little door right there. The one thing that this game doesn't do is multi-level building. Which, to be fair, oops, sorry. Does help with the um, um, building AI or the pathing AI of the colonists while building for sure. I will look in on food. We have some food still goods. Let's see. Weapon smithing is definitely something that we should do next. Because um, we are lacking weapons. Ranged and melee. What do otter ta otters taste like? Well, otters were hunted to extinction almost in the UK, for example. So it's not like people did not eat them. <laughs> yeah. They, they did actually do that. Yeah, no, what do otters, otters taste like? Yeah, absolutely. No, people used to eat them. People used to eat them. They had them for pelts. That too, but they also ate them. Also, the, the beaver beaver hunting was more for pelts. Otters also were eaten. But then, yeah. And beavers were hunted for pelts and all that sort of stuff. Well, that is idling. Oh, because I have no more rocks marked. Mine. Heat stroke, yep. Uh, 
Uh, we'll back then and out. Well, down and animals' food. Also, um, beavers live in the water, so they're definitely fish. So you can eat them on Fridays. Mm hmm. <laughs> that too. Yep, yep. Indeed. Um, workbench required. Yep, yep. That's definitely how that goes. I need more wood. Wood needed. Okay, these trees are definitely nowhere near ready yet. Hey, you, you, you laugh, but that's the truth. It is actually the truth. As crazy as that sounds. Uh, harvest the t-ball tree. I need to get that wood. I remember. <laughs> so I played this. I played this already in a preview event several weeks ago. And I rolled a map that literally had one oasis tree on it. I remember that. It was very funny. And kind of silly. I had one map with a, with a tree on it. Like one tree on the map. On the entire map. So I could cut down the t-ball trees. But I don't really want to. Up here. But we do have the dead tree here. Sorry, I'm just looking for trees. And uh, no, I've tested this. Cacti do not give you wood. Which, as a RimWorld player, you might be tempted to plant cacti or to cut down cacti. Because in RimWorld, cacti for some reason give you wood. Even though that's odd and silly and that's not how it works. Um, it is in RimWorld. It is not, however... Like it is in this, uh, how it is in this game. Ooh, our not agave. Ooh, dust storm. So I always feel unhappy and have decreased movement speed and manipulation efficiency if outside during this disaster. Solar panels work at half the efficiency. Rip us. Um. Sarah, uh, there's no prioritize. Okay. But we've already built the foundation of the stairs. Very nice. Very nice. Now we just need up oh, your binging. All right. Ha enjoy the norms. Enjoy the nom noms. Oh, butt spot. Butt spot always loot. Always bad spot, always loot. But chat, chat, chat. It is that time. It is that time. It's already five o'clock again. How in the no, world? No, no, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, it is. No. It is Friday. Uh, not Friday. It's not Friday. It's five o'clock. How? Magic. I don't know. We'll play more of this tomorrow. It's Friday. Because I want to check out the update and see more and play and. Friday. Yeah. No, it's not. I've streamed for eight hours already, almost. It is It is five o'clock. Chats. It's not my birthday, no. No, it's not. It's not my birthday and it's five o'clock. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. We'll be, we will be playing more of this tomorrow, so I'm gonna set- No, Dice Cocoon! What morning, everybody, and welcome to the cult. Yes, it's my birthday. Yay, Dice Cocoon. Dice Cocoon. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Dice Cocoon. We're not starting shenanigans. We are not starting shenanigans. It's uh, just shortly after midnight for you. Oh, I see. Wow, that's late apparently. Or early? <laughs> Another happy birthday. No, it's not my birthday. What? I am not. Yeah, yeah, you are. You definitely are. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, star. Um, but yeah, I rejected by Krista. What? Wait, is this a thing now? Oh. I Oh yeah, I mean, I guess that no, that that is a thing, right? Cuz they can get married. I completely forgot about that. 
They can get married. So yeah, I guess I just never had that happen in my last uh, my, my last colony. Oh yeah, of course they can. They can do that. Why is it? Why is it not my birthday? Because it's not the twenty-first of May. 